welcome to uh, this hexagon 2.5 video tutorial uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a method for uh, building a uh, modeling a a pillar uh, with some details in it uh, it could uh, or, or Roman column or uh, whatever you want to call it but anyway this is uh, pretty simple uh, using this method, uh, we'll I'll also, uh, if you're a new user, you will be introduced to some new tools. Uh, for example, copy on support. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to choose a sphere. I'm going to hold my shift key uh, so we can snap to the center there. And I'm just going to drag it out. And then I'm going to go over here under the properties panel and the type of sphere we're going to uh, create is a geodesic sphere so we're just going to click that and then under the number of points here um, we just want to highlight it scroll it down or you can use uh, the little arrow keys here and we're just going to give it a uh, it says number of points we just want those to be one and then we will validate we can drag our properties panel back here okay I'm gonna go to the uh, orthographic view I'm gonna go to wireframe gonna go to face selection and I'm just gonna select these top faces here and I'm gonna control X to delete those top faces or I could use uh, the delete key <coughs> okay uh, and you can turn on symmetry in the properties panel or you can bring it up in the context menu by right clicking in your uh, uh, 3D area turn on symmetry make sure it's in the X and then I'm going to tap my space bar to hide my cursor there and then I'm just going to drag a selection around these faces on the end and then we will tap spacebar to bring our cursor back and let's just go ahead and drag those out in the X direction a bit let's turn our symmetry off hide our cursor go back to the perspective view and let's go to edge selection and let's grab the center edge here loop select it and then I'm going to hit my backspace and I'm going to say I want to dissolve all get rid of those points in the middle there then we'll go back uh, to this view here and let's go to edge selection and loop select that top edge and just delete it grab this loop again loop select and let's go back to the orthographic view and what we want to do is make sure this top edge is setting flat so we can either grab the uh, scale in the Y to flatten that out so you can grab your scale and drag it down till it gets to about the center of the widget which usually will just about make it flat or you can go here in the properties panel let me undo that so it's not flat and under the size in the Z direction you just highlight those numbers and enter zero and then hit enter and that flattens the top out let's drag it down just a little bit okay let's come back out of the orthographic view I'm just gonna draw uh, grab this uh, top edge again I'm gonna hold my control key and then I'm gonna grab the center of my widget here and extrude those edges out and then I'm going to scale those in the Z direction okay and as you can see uh, that this all these 
back faces here are black and what that means and these are white and what that means is our, our uh, normals are facing the direction of the uh, lighted polygons so and for this column we want those uh, normals facing this direction so I'm going to click the utilities tab and use the orient normals tool which is down at the end here uh, from from the right to the left it's one two three four five uh, icons over and we're just going to click that and then under the properties panel you have a couple options here and we're just going to select the second one for unify normals and then I'll just hit my space bar yeah how come that didn't work let's abort that and try it again yeah okay ended up having to use select all the faces and then uh, validate that maybe have something to do with uh, my recording software running at the same time I'm running hexagon uh, okay let's go back to uh, edge selection turn our symmetry back on make sure it's in the Y I mean the X direction and I'm going to select these end um, edges here I'll tap my space bar to bring my um, widget back up and then we can flatten these faces here remember you can uh, do that with a widget or you can do it under the properties panel under size in the X direction uh, so let's go ahead and do that in the properties panel I've just highlighted those numbers I go in and hit enter 0 and then hit enter and that flattens those edges out uh, let's go ahead and hold our control key and do a small extrusion here on those let's turn off our symmetry and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this and as I begin to rotate I'm gonna hold my shift key so we can snap uh, it gives us an incremental uh, rotation so let's go ahead and pull this up a bit above the grid and let's make that face the front direction so I'm going to begin to rotate this and then I'm going to hold my shift key so we snap uh, rotate incrementally now the front view here well, let's just go ahead and scale this down a bit let's just drag it kind of over to the side uh, before let's go ahead and center that back I don't do that yet <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is under the utilities panel um, we've got uh, you should find a icon here with taper and bend and twist and uh, also uh, your uh, lattice deformer so we're going to choose the second icon for the bend deformer and we want to set that to the x-axis and you can do that under the uh, the uh, properties panel here I'm just going to click the x-axis and then I'm going uh, the max angle and the minimum angle I'm going to set the max angle to 10 oh we're not in the x direction so for some reason occasionally that does not work like it's supposed to and I do not know why so let's try that again it's still not working maybe go this is one reason I I changed uh, over to blender is because of little issues like this well let's go to the object maybe we should be in object mode and let's try that again okay 10 now what in the world okay try again make sure we're in the X 10 Wow 
Okay. Well, maybe we should try to click and drag on this. Switch back and forth a couple of times here. Now, ah, there we go. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to work. If your uh, X axis was chosen, it's supposed to bend around this way. Uh, the max angle. 10 and then uh, under the minimum angle let's go minus 10 and that gives us a bend like this okay and let's just validate that wow I haven't had that much problem uh, with that particular tool in hexagon in a while I don't know why in the world it did that uh, but if you start having that problem, just keep messing around with it. Eventually, it'll work. Okay, uh, I'm going to tap the 2 key on my keyboard and then the 5 to go to top view. And then I'm going to go to the lines tab and I'm going to choose circle from center. Hold the shift key so our circle starts at the center there. I'm just going to drag this out, whatever size you want. And on the number of points, let's uh, just set that to 12. Doesn't necessarily have to be that, uh, but it's worked for me. Let's go ahead and drag this out of the way a little bit, and then uh, make sure that you're in Object Selection. Go to the Utilities tab, and then going from left to right. Uh, you will find the fourth icon over copy on support okay and then you can just click on your circle let's back up and abort that make sure that uh, your your column piece is selected first and you are in object mode and then go to copy on support click on your circle and it should be you have some options here one two three four and five try each one but uh, two should be the option you need and it looks like it is and this looks like the scale uh, is a little bit big so let's go down here and try 0.5 and 0.5 is too small so let's try to it's kind of hard to do that by dragging the little slider here so we knew uh, let's go to back to 0 0.5 0 0.5 is too small so let's try 0 0.8 and that's a little bit closer but that's a little bit big 0 0.7 that's a little too small so let's do 0 0.75 and that's about right. You can still see though that uh, some of these edges are overlapping here but we'll go ahead and validate that. And now what I want to do is go back to my vertex modeling tab and I'm going to choose average weld. And uh, we will just go up here in the distance and click that a few times and in and just watch and what you want is where each of these pieces uh, meet you want those icons or um, those uh, points to snap and weld together so let's go ahead and validate that scale this down let's hide our original object go back to the front view and go to orthographic view and let's go to wireframe and let's just uh, select these top faces here I want to drag those up go to our smooth view come back out of orthographic and let's turn on our symmetry and let's do that in the Y direction We'll just go to edge selection and loop select those. Hold the control key, extrude those out a bit, 
Extrude them up. Extrude them in. And then you can uh, just convert the selection to points. And then uh, under the vertex modeling tab, we'll just to weld points. And that welds all those points to the center there. As you can see, that uh, creates a uh, pretty nice column with uh, this little detail here in the center. Uh, let's hide this. Also, you can use your original object and you can uh, make a few tweaks on it before you do the copy on support and uh, maybe you might want to uh, grab these outside edges and just maybe put a little more distance in there before you uh, create your column. Uh, let's go ahead and control Control X to delete that. Control X to delete our curve. And uh, but anyway, you can uh, build yourself a pretty uh, decent. You, you can use it as a pedestal or some type of column for uh, an ancient ruin or something. Uh, anyway, uh, I probably would uh, knock down these uh, polys somewhat uh, to get a little uh, better, uh, uh, smaller poly count. And also I'd probably go in and chamfer uh, these edges. And also it probably wouldn't hurt to chamfer these edges on uh, the detail here. But anyway, that's about it for this tutorial. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope to have some more uh, hexagon tutorials up before long. So be sure to subscribe, and have a great day.